Tonight we're learning that marine assault amphibious vehicles will no longer deploy or train in the water. The move comes after two investigations into the fatal sinking of one of them near San Diego last year. Our Phil Blower is here with more on the Marine Corps' decision. Phil. Andrew Maria, the decision to suspend amphibious operations permanently was made even though the Marine Corps believes the vehicles, which have been around since the Vietnam War, are safe and effective. The latest mishap happened in July 2020 when eight Marines and a sailor died when their vehicle broke down near San Clemente Island. Its transmission failed, then its water drive, then its generator, and those on board sat in the dark as water came up inside. And by the time an evacuation order was made, the water was chest high. The Marines later said the vehicle, which ultimately sank, was 35 years old and should have never been in the water on that day. The families of the men who were killed sued BAE Systems, that's the maker of the vehicle, earlier this year. And in the wake of the incident, the Marine Corps punished three commanders, three Navy officers also have received administrative punishments, and another Marine commander is now facing a board of inquiry at the Marine Corps headquarters in Quantico, Virginia. The Corps says the vehicles will continue land-based operations and said it is prepared to change its mind if AAVs are needed for a crisis response. Andrew. All right, Phil Blower with the update tonight for us. Phil, thank you.